guys and welcome back in today's video I'm going to talk about the one hand shot backhand in tennis and I hope that the content I'm going to share will help you to improve your one hand shot backhand I personally started playing one hand backhand uh, when I was 16 years old and I was very happy about making that change and really I enjoyed the one hand the one hand shot backhand in tennis through the years a lot so th today I want to share with you how uh, you could uh, improve your one hand shot backhand if you haven't played tennis at all or if you've played tennis I hope something can really be uh, adding to your one hand shot backhand so you can uh, really play much better so there's five steps so you, you can do that the number one is the ready position make sure your racket is in the middle of the body and your racket head is up you can be shoulder level height it's good way to start from here you're changing the grip and this is, is this is going to prepare you for the next step number two so this was number one left hand on the racket throw and racket head up keep it in the center of your body step number two after you've prepared the ready position now you have a nice preparation and from here you can just make the unit turn so taking your racket back you can see how my racket was up on the ready position and I'm gonna take it the same way backwards now I'm gonna use my left arm to pull back so it can give me a nice shoulder turn and I'm still talking about the number two, step number two. So this is a nice shoulder turn. My feet are pointing to the side, both of them. Both feet are pointing to the side, racket back. I have that nice twist of the body. So this is the, the step, the number two step. From here, from here we're gonna talk about step number three. And this is very simple step after you have prepared yourself on number two step number two and, the, and you've twisted the body you've pulled your shoulder now you can just step forward it's a normal step forward it's a natural step forward and you can see it's a little bit to the side but it also goes forward so you can see it from here go forward and to the side and as I do that now I'm gonna release my body that I twisted from here at number a step number two on the unit turn the twist now it releases into the shot and this is where it comes step number four hitting the ball at this point you want your arm to be just straight on the contact point get under that ball so racket under the ball your right arm or the hitting arm is just straight and from here another thing to add on is that you want to hit the ball in front of your body this is where the contact is gonna be the easiest for you to do in front of the body and from here comes step number five, the follow through, where you go forward and upward motion. I'll show you from here again. Step number four, forward and upwards motion to the finish. And we can talk about the finish, but it's just more like let it go naturally upwards. And it's going to help you to really take pressure off your shoulder by going to the side on the finish if you've been going to the side this can cause you some you know issues on the shoulder so go forward and upwards it can really help you keep lifting the bow up keep lifting the bow up so those are the five steps good ready position good unit turn good step to the bow good contact point with the bow and the follow through to the finish I hope that the content I shared today is something helpful and really you can improve your game of tennis. My name is Ivan and I will see you in my next video.